because he's not going to be a human skull anymore. He's not a human skull anymore. Now he's a creepy uh, Star Trek dude uh, <laughs> skull. Do you know what you're not talking oh, about? Oh, the Klingon dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do something simple like this. Like, here's the mech. Obviously, the jawline, whatever that earlobe thing is. And this is where, like, your strap yeah. the top of your shoulders would start. So, this is about the palm yeah, of my hand, size. which fits on my neck. Yes. Um, I was going to do, I want to do full color. Okay. But I want to add something around it. Okay. Because I feel like it's. Go with. Worry about what the neck actually looks like when you're looking at it after you realize how much space you actually have in the neck. So if you look at my neck like this to the side and you're going to put a tattoo, you have that, that shape of it. You can come from here all the way to here. So the image should look like that. The image should have a stuff here and should have a stuff here. Okay. So you know that when you so put something it in here. Neck, yes. And something here. What's up? See if they had Red Sharpie. I was fixing to give him a little give red Sharpie. tip and trick. But red actually, Sharpie, I don't know how to block. I got one. Don't worry. Ask John. John right has here. a bunch of fucking Sharpies. Who? Yes. John. Oh. Yeah, I will do like I said. This, uh, when I look at it, I look at the space that is there. I just see, I do the same thing right here. I got neck. Yeah. I got a hurt buddy. He's coming right. off the side. Now we'll borrow Zach's neck. Zach's like, okay. What you do? This works for every single body part you will ever, ever draw for. Now you can utilize everything that's in this area. Now, you take your tape, and you tape that edge, and you tape all this over here, tape all that, and now you just draw it in that shape. Awesome. Nice. And then, it doesn't tear up because you've got everything taped together, so now you've got this little model of what you have to draw in that you can go photocopy. Yes, sir. And now, you have multiple copies, and you can sit there and draw that. Now, yeah, yeah. now that you have that, cover up and you use a piece of this. That straight on angle that you were drawing, it right. doesn't look so cool right there, yeah. right? So, if it was going that way, you would want something facing in. And even if you flip it over and decide to draw yours going the other way, right. that's still going to work. Cool. But this works amazing yeah. for laying out anything that has to wrap, like a sleeve, dude. You just sit there and just mark everything off, tape everything down, and just start drawing on top of it. Photocopy it and then just start tracing from there. Awesome. Clean up your line drawings. Hell yeah, bro. You can draw exact for every single body part. Thank you. Can you do me a favor and give this to. Uh, what? No. Uh, give this to. Uh, Cody. Cody? Yeah. I'm back, bitches. I don't know what you guys want, but here I am. Uh, you know, I was working out in Dallas for about a year at a shop out there. Kind of got out there and, you know, changed the pace and was working out there for about, about a year, about a year. And uh, decided to, I needed to come back to uh, Sparrows, where I came from. Don't touch me, bitch. God, this place is so fucking huge. Can I Yeah. Like this was the shop before. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like this was it. You know, I'm super stoked for Cody's back. Cody's a really good friend of mine, and I actually have to move the stuff back in here. I love the fact that Cody's back. Um, Cody's a really good tattoo artist. Um, he's a good artist, period. You know what I mean? And actually, just working at a shop that was just client based, like no walk ins, helped me build my clientele more. You know what I mean? There was no walking there at all? Nope, it was all appointment only. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. The shop's real unassuming. You would know it was a tattoo shop if you were in the I've seen any kind of Cody tattoo like this. There's a lot of <laughs> little nuances that I've picked up on and I've added into my own artwork and changed and made it my own. Yeah. It uh, feels good to be back. And I, I feel like, I feel like, uh, the people that are that were here before and the people the new people here you know receptive to it 
uh, you know, it feels good to be back around people that, you know, I miss a lot of these guys, you know, it was, I always had a good time here, you know, I was here for three years, so this is basically where I started from, really. Uh, I haven't really got to hang out with him at all, um, I've, you know, said a few words here and there, like, I've seen his work for the past couple of years, and I know he's a good tattoo artist, like, definitely is not a bad thing to have more good art coming out of the studio. So, my thoughts on that, like, it, it's kind of hard to say because I don't really know the guy personally yet. Um, I'm sure I'll get to know him soon, but as of right now, all I'm seeing is good tattoos, so fuck it, you know. It's cool having everyone back. It's kind of like a, I think it's a family reunion kind of this. It's a nice feeling. Fuck right in the pussy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Is he explicitly said, I just a skull, like nothing with it, so I don't want to put any background on it. Like, I feel like that's going to be really boring. Here's my thing. He said skull. He would skull. Do your style. You're Ron <laughs> Are you really a country singer? <laughs> no, no. So, he really is. No, for real. Hold on, I'm on He sketches now. and writes his music. For somebody that likes trainings. No, 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 my name, my real name is Ray, so my name is Danny Ray, though, so it sounds country as fuck. Danny, Danny Ray, Ray. Danny Ray Elliott the third. <laughs> country music extraordinaire. It's I'm never going to get this. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, your appointment's here. What's up? What's up, man? What's up? Not much. You get this finalized. Are you working in over there, Ron? I don't know where I'm working. Uh, I'm working, though. Like you can still play station. He ain't got no appointment. She loved it, man. Good deal. Oh my God, that's so cute. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Yeah. Yeah. I have one request. Right now. So, Danny, now that you have married, you need to make country songs about getting married. There are no country songs about being happy. Yeah. So like, no. He's my homeboy. <laughs> Yeah, he's my roomie. There's no <laughs> anything. Hey, what you want, man? Whatever. Whatever else you see tonight. Whatever, Danny. I'm not Texas. gay, first off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're telling everyone. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. Oh, you, I'll be, you'll be the first one I read. <laughs> 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 you know, if you want to get tattooed, let me know. I'd love to tattoo you. You. Hope I pointed directly at you. There you are. Yeah, see you. <laughs> the worst part when I was at the live finale because we got invited back. Fucking who the fuck? Who won that fucking hole? Oh, yeah. He's a fucking cop, though. To be honest with you, he's, awesome. he's, not a, he's not a bad dude in person. That had, I liked his back piece his more. His back piece was sick. That thing was really fucking awesome. He won. He won. I mean, what I didn't understand why why they kicked Halo off. I've never over he his, 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 his was better than. Oh yeah. Sausage. You're ready. Yeah. That yeah. shit happened. <laughs> but they were totally two different kinds of back pieces, though. I think sometimes he just chased these pieces of good angle. He's probably zoomed in on his penis. Oh. Like, <laughs> oh, no, he is. Oh, oh, they all have one. Nothing up there. You know what I think is funny though? Every time he puts you on the screen, it makes me music. Come on. Like, <laughs> spin your that fucking. shit makes me laugh so I fucking so hard. Right. I'm about to jump in out of that nowhere. Shit. And then you're always like, no, his attitude, no, his attitude, he just looks like he's in Mexico. <laughs> Look at that guy, so about to come out and start slicing shit around. He said he was going to try that win. You Danny got so. Oh man, how do you even I mean, get that close? Yeah. Huh? Is it just a it's baby face? Ancient Chinese secret. Yeah. Oh, look at the baby See, what I do is I pour I hot tea over my face and it just opens up all the pores. Is it a country singer yeah, thing? Yeah, it's different. No? <laughs> and then you just throw me off. And then I'm and then like, like I, said, I don't know what to do now. Jess and then it, Well, you can just go home. Just go home.
Yeah. Okay, you, you got me? I'm not allowed to put a tattoo on me because I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the just a block. That one is on. I haven't seen your room yet. It's insane. I'm good at it. It's better in person than it is. Oh, yeah, it feels like back this way. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. about this. Set everything up so you can walk in and see what a, your entire studio could look like if you went with water. Yeah. You know what I mean? Have the prices on there. And it's really affordable anyway. So yeah, so we're gonna do that. But yeah, you know, you work next to Matt. Yeah. At the uh, Immersed in Ink show. Yeah. Dude, come on down, man. Yeah. I don't even know you. Know. But we're the main sponsor for that show, so okay. It's uh. Big deal. Oh, they, 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 they can't realize. Is he picking up Jamie? Uh, he said he was going to get a car. That's why I'm kind of waiting to hear from him. The whole time that I was in the middle of the day, ever. Now I know what brand he feels like. I wasn't going to say it. Uh, today is our grand opening and uh, Tattoo Nightmare's uh, first episode. So uh, we are having a little celebration uh, slash not doing anything type of day. Well, most likely I will sit down and throw. And right now I'm enjoying a delicious beer. Just one. You know, you don't want to get too, too crazy about it or greedy. Yeah, that's what's going on. Me and my boy Craig right here. <laughs> I'm not saying it again. <laughs> Hey. Hey, is there a possibility you guys can like bring a table that I can use up here for just snacks and shit? Yeah, like a, a fold out table or something. Are you gonna take the bikes? Alright, I'll I'll do that then. Alright, bye. Tattoo Nightmares Ink Master party the other night. Holy shit, what a night to come back to work. The other shop was insane. This is over the top. Pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad. Me and, and, me and the kid up front of us, we're going to go from the electrical all the way to the front floor. Hey, Hi. Look at you. How's it going? Are, are you filming right now? Or is it I have something for you. Mm -hmm. It's actually a big cock. Yes. I've been wanting one of those my whole life. Okay, so I made this for you. This is some of my art that I made for you. Look at she really is a big goddamn cock. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, is it I can finally say I got one. A big black cock, is that? A big that? black cock, yes. And I cut some little little things in there. This is Billy Jack, this party. I figured it would be a good shock farming gift for you. Yeah, I didn't know you were in this area. Tattoo Nightmare Party it was great. It actually, there's a lot of people that turned out. Um, 
got to meet some really badass artists, Jamie, of course, Reese and Noon, Steve. Um, I didn't get to talk to Oliver, but I did meet him. He seemed like a pretty chill little dude. I was like, you know, I'll set it up for you, and then you guys can come in and personalize it, make it yours. I was like, but there's, you know, I can't have my room looking like this, and then everybody else looking like they're kind of doing it out of the fucking, you know, uh, the break room and shit. So I was like, you know what, it, it was a little harder to do it that way, but... But it's got your flavor through all of it. I just want it to look good all the way through. It stays the way it is, too. The rice plant was looking. I can't believe it. The toughest fight of Floyd Mayweather's career. So on September 13th, Floyd Mayweather and Marcos went on it was a lot of people here, for, especially for as big as this shop is. It was packed out. There was a lot of people here, and uh, it was good. It was good. You know, you see some stragglers coming in off looking for free pizza or whatever, but you know, they, don't, they don't get any. They have some chips, but that's the least. But it was a good party. It was a good party. Fucking Michelangelo over here. Yeah, he, he did that, that one day you're like, I want you all to go home and draw something. I was like, alright, so we got a couple of days. I didn't even draw anything. I came back to work the next day. He's got like three sketches finished. I was like, he's like, I just bored, you know, I just you know, this when I got home. I'm like, it would take me a week to draw that, you asshole. It took you two hours. <laughs> we should kill him. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's just it has to happen. I was like, dude, why the fuck are you tattooing that shit? If you can draw shit like that, why nobody wants it? Who ever tried? Like anybody. Well, that, that's what that. that's what anybody the art that's what the art thing is for. Is so you guys draw all the fucking time. So that way, if it's it's one of those things that if you guys are drawing all the fucking time, I'm making you draw every week. Like it's a mandatory thing. Eventually, people are going to come in and you're going to be like, you know what, I can take the fucking hour it's going to take to fucking Google shit, or I can just go ahead and just sketch something out. And then if they don't like it, then I resort to Google. Because I tell you right now, you if you was to show that to any goddamn buddy, they'd be like, fuck yeah, let's go. Let's do it right now. I'll let them do that shit on me. And that's what I'm trying to get, is like, it's it's actually easier and faster if you guys draw it yourself than going and Google searching it and fucking rip taking shit and replicating it though. You know? I mean, not for nothing, you're never gonna see fucking, you know, whole, whole gallery doing that shit. You know what Curtis is? Curtis already had a beer, right? Yeah, already had a beer. You know, we're rare to friends. Shit ain't your mama. Fuck school, be cool. break into the school and take my phone number out of the fucking factory. Right? Right. Fuck school, be cool. Yeah, just kidding. Kids are out back. I opened the back door and I was like, God damn! Oh, just kidding. Yeah, yeah. 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 I gave her exactly what she wanted. Yeah. I'm doing just a little piece. Holy shit. Yeah. 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 She wanted the other. Right around the east. Yeah. 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 I just got here, Jenny. You guys want to work? Yeah, it's an art room. So much fucking fun. I love it. Just like alone. Oh, Finally got a break room. What? I want to live with him. I had to make an ass out of myself on TV. Again. Yeah. Hey, I told them about all that when you called me there one time and you watched me on the news and I was high and you were mad. <laughs> Look at her face, she's like, uh. What did she tell him about the girl that wasn't 16? She told me she was, and I did your laundry was stepping on the stash while she was going, ah, 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 ah. And I had to wait through the whole thing. And then I walk up and I go, ah, Excuse me, how old are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? The show was out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they did get up there. It was a smaller venue. It was really cool. Uh, I think they had a big We'll talk about that. You need to come to the way for one Excuse me. I'm not a big fan of it. You want to put your best somewhere else? 
Makes what? Needle boys. Party went awesome. Went awesome time. Lost my hat. Lost my glasses. Well, this is the digs. I like it, man. Hell yeah. yeah. This is fucking, this is home, man. Check it out. The apple don't fall far from the tree. No way. This one. Have you ever seen Tarzan? Uh, yeah, you have a little more size to dance. We're swinging now, baby. It was great when he was young because he would do all these little videos, you know, and he had the big video camera, you know, and he would pretend like they're doing dope. Actually, powdered Barbies. sugar or something. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we are doing a whole theater thing, right? And I don't even know what's going on. Well, then it started getting really bad because he got busted. And when you got cops coming up and they're going, now Clint. <laughs> oh, you know my son by his first name? Really? I think he nailed it, and the way something that show is him, I think it was way better than the Heat Master for sure. I think it suited him better in a smaller setting because he seemed to have really got to he got to know the artist that he was working with, and they I met both, and they're both really cool, um, both really good artists as well. Um, other than that, the party was pretty badass. Give him your new O face. <laughs> My O face. Okay, my O face. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why is there a crowd? Handle it. Yeah, yeah. You can always watch the Needle Boys later. <laughs> it's Jimmy. It's just Jimmy. America. Oh damn! Look at that. All right, it's unbalanced. Did you do that today? Uh, yeah. yeah. That looks pretty good. Not enough black on. Oh, what's there? <laughs> You should have done tattoos like that when you're on a show. Oh. Yeah, maybe I would have won. <laughs> <laughs> with the needle, you pull up, like, you counter with the, the receiving tube, mm -hmm. find that one little spot, and then leave some of my cartilage. He still does not get it. After all that's gone through, he still don't get it. He's got a bus now, he travels around. A bus. That's his rap that says, Ink Master. He's got his pit bulls on it. Look at his fucking wow. Oh my god. He's parked in front of your local Walmart. He went to the new. He still doesn't understand. Like when you say. Like literally, you say the word line work, he goes, Why don't you talk about line work? A nice problem with dehydrates the skin. Leaves room for cracking and stuff like that. You know what? Hey, would that cause keloids or no? The coconut? No, no actually. No, 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 no. No, that's a problem. It, it possibly could have caused keloids. No 
he knows, understand. he's smart enough to know that there's plenty of people out there that don't care if they're testing you or not. Right. During the last four seasons. Hey, he's marketing, he's a marketing genius. Oh, yeah. He's not trying to compete. I'm getting a phoenix. You know what I mean? Like like Walmart ain't trying to compete with Eva Marcus. No. Definitely not. They are not trying to compete at all. Listen, everybody likes a dollar. Some people are going to get Exactly. <laughs> uh, we are about to Pierce, Mr. News. Uh, accept them. You're good, homie. Apparently, he's had it done three times in the past. It ain't work. So, we're going to make it work. <laughs> did you do the math or did I? I can't remember. <laughs> Mark! Oh, hey, we boy! We, yeah, boy! Oh, God. Oh, Billy. Uh, hey, we were in Coney Island. He was bartending across the street. Billy? No, oh, a guy with a head tattoo. <laughs> Me and Jamie went across the street because we were filming down there. And Ashley's like, you fuckers hey, ain't drinking. I'm like, the my whole art portfolio. It's pretty cool, hopefully. I think. State your name. <laughs> my name is High No. Doesn't matter you're not today. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter if he's probably going to make it. Here we go. Answer. No, the original. Oh, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Is this happening to me? Oh, worry about nothing. Where the fuck is that, man? How you doing? Long time. What's up, bro? Yeah, man. We got a huge GPS for us. Like the whole chop, I guess. Yeah. Well, that chick was crazy. She went into the party after. Google chop house. That bitch was nuts. I remember her. She snuck on the bus and got to the live party after. I remember her. I'm like, Smile, what are you doing there? She's like, Yeah. I'm like, Oh, yeah. In the lower bridge, which actually shakes the nose. In between there, you'll feel like a little ridge. It's like a little, like this. You feel that little ridge? That little skinny spot on there. You have the upper bridge cartilage, yeah. and then you have the shaping bottom cartilage down here. Right here. So in between that little part, that's where you're going to hit. You also, if you're prone to like want to flip it up to hide it from Abelita or whoever. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You want to pierce more towards the front so they can flip it back up, so it won't cause any discomfort over time. Are you watching real? Uh huh. Oh well, yeah. See, the cool thing about working in a real shop is you can just. Oh, you know what? I don't think we're gonna be able to make a deal. You can get this. You can get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna do some black presses. I'm gonna see you on this. On TV, there's a hundred grand on the line. I mean, there's a the real size. It's, it's a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, who's that? This guy, Jeremy. This guy, Keith. Okay, he's right there. So real slowly. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. That's it. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it You are a carbon-based life form. I know. Whoa, what? Have you ever actually oh. watched it on TV? What's that? You, you ever just watch oh, it? Oh yeah. TV? I mean, if, I don't know. Sh I don't know how this shit goes until I see. Oh yeah. Time. Every time I watch it, I'm like, damn. I don't know. Crazy. I don't remember like <laughs> that, but like, I don't okay. know anything that goes on no. with y'all. Like all this shit is news to me, man. <laughs> I opened it wide for him because he said he was having problems with the rubbing on the outside uh -huh. of his cartridge. Okay. So I don't want him to have that problem this time. I'm going to open it a little bit wider. Keep his sights down! I'm the motherfucker piercing the character. I got it. I got it. Thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you. He does the same shit I do. It's all right. Let me wipe them tears. Hey, can you unlock your box Or. You ready for that other one or what now? These, these are tears of happiness, man. Let's do my nipples next. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Done! <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you going to do it? Oh, he's what like, he said, he, he, you fucking like drag that thing, shot in the head, and beat it, and he's gonna bring it. I was like, holy fuck, man. That was a little bad. You said that. You did, you fucker. That was bad. You said it with just with a smile on your face, man. I was like, here we fucking go. That was, that was epic. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
looks great. Like I saw in the commercial. I wish I could pull up the link. Hey, you know you gotta hide it. Yeah, no, no, you need to start the video. Yeah, yeah, hide it. Hell yeah, you gotta go back and film. Pop it up. Yeah. What's up? It was good to see the shop full of people and. You know, there were probably five or six people in everyone's room, and like there was, I don't even know how many fucking people outside. I think a lot of, the turnout was pretty good. Um, I didn't get as drunk as I had hoped, but you know. Um, a lot of friends that came up here, friends and family, it was nice seeing them at the party and our support and everything from the shop. And, and oh, this is fucking wonderful. Oliver Peck is here. Uh, this uh, homeboy from, uh, I don't know where I went. This homeboy from Tattoo Nightmares. Um, it's just fucking great. I think it's gonna be really, really good for business and uh, for the tattoo life like they have. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It ends with What? He smiles like you're taking a picture. No, we can talk about you in my sleep. They've been looking for somebody. Explain to her what Captain Nightmare is. Tattoo Nightmares is where we fix up everybody's fuck ups. <laughs> I didn't marry him for his musical talent. You didn't marry him for his musical talent. But do you recognize that Danny does have a chance to be like Red Dirt Country? <laughs> Just a little bit, yo. Danny Ray Elliott III is ready for country. <laughs> I'm just saying, Danny. Let's just let's just go. Maybe if you write all the songs, I will write all the if songs. If you write Danny. all the songs and play the guitar, no, no, you gotta play the guitar. I can't play the guitar. Oh, yeah, what? Oh, I got told by Curtis all week that there was gonna be free booze. I got told that shit probably twice a day, every day for about a week. So that's what I told all my friends. And then I found out the day of that there wasn't gonna be any free booze. And uh, I was kind of like, well, shit, you know. And then half my friends build. So shows where my guys' priorities are. Tattoo you did today is not a good representation of what you're capable of. Uh, we gotta work together on this one. And I, I'm just I'm just feeling like it. Right? I was 18. I walk into the tattoo shop and I said I want a nice Puerto Rican slide to represent. Oh, I'm painting. Look, Reese did a phenomenal job. Yeah. You didn't know we had two style like this. And not for nothing, if the judges are watching. <laughs> 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 Show ever. Yeah. It was 
I thought, what? Two words? Classics. Classics. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Acting classes? No. <laughs> Awesomeness. <laughs> Phenomenal. That's what I thought. Greatest soap opera yeah, I've ever yeah. watched. Greatest drama ever. Greatest soap opera ever. Three shot guys. Two, three. Perfect. One more time. Two, three. Give me something different. Give me something different. Come on, guys. Come on. Give me something different. One, two, three. Nice to meet you, man. Have a good one. Hey, man. They're fucking even. They're kids. The next one. He like that. into my porch and take showers with my hose and shit, plug in your cell phones and shit. Fucking, what? I had to go down there twice a night with my taser's yeah. fucking baton and try to run them off. <laughs> Zap them and shit. I got a lead shot. Glow. I want to come up shit. there and do that. <laughs> you should. I got like three no. taser batons. I got fucking Joker masks. I would love that. I put on rubber Joker masks really and put on the lead shot gloves and the taser batons and fucking Why are we doing it right, right now? We're in Texas. We're in Texas. We're over there. <laughs> I need that. Yeah, it's good shit. I'm discouraging them. Good. I'm coming. Need Awards 2014, September the 2nd, 817, 1999, 453, 1110. <laughs> Hit me up. Do you need a tattoo? That is good. And then they slowly moved in right yes. <laughs> As the sun sets. Get close, get close, get personal with it. Get personal with it, fuck you. <laughs> I've seen that goddamn thing in my face for fucking years. <laughs> it ain't not for nothing. If it wasn't for Eli, I don't think I would be as good as I am on TV. He was filming me fucking years before. Me and this nigga right here, we've been knowing each other since the motherfucking fourth grade. It's my A1. First white boy I ever fucked with. Keep it real. Okay, look, I'm gonna show you this shit. I did beat, almost beat somebody's ass. Uh, this fucking, I don't know, some kid. Well, he wasn't a kid, he was an adult, you know, but he was just being belligerently drunk. <laughs> Somebody in here owed fifty dollars. Oh wow, what happened? Look at that nigga right there. Wow, that nigga right there. Anybody want anything else? 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 Unopened crystal skull vodka. 
Why? Why? Why would you do such a thing? I don't know. It's just, it's just being an alcoholic. Not, I'm not an alcoholic, but being a person that likes to drink, you just don't waste some good booze. Not expect, not you know, expensive booze. <laughs> expensive booze, you know, cheap booze. Fuck yeah, throw that shit away. If it was like some Coors Light or some shit like that, I wouldn't have gave a fuck. But motherfucker got the whole bottle, a bottle, a whole unopened bottle of Crystal Head vodka. If any Crystal Head vodka drinkers out there, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. This shit's good. It's bomb.com. But yeah, motherfucker fucked up. Tried to touch my man's hang down in the car and almost had to fucking beat his ass. I mean, like, from what I from what I heard, it just kind of kind of sat there for a minute. And everybody was like, yo, my nigga, what the fuck you doing touching my penis? And he was like, nothing. <laughs> and uh, things got a little out of hand after that. I don't know. When he started getting drunk with, you know, with white people, shit, shit happens. <laughs> people shit get, yeah, just, white boy he, was, he was white boy wasted for sure. Well, he thought he thought he was white girl wasted. He ended up being white. Apparently, girl on dicks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, who does that? Who gets drunk and grabs another guy's junk? Getting overzealous. Overzealous white guys. What happened? Just got too excited. Fucking broke the goddamn bottle. Hey, how you doing up there? I want to talk to you about prostate cancer. Hey, Zach Waters here. Just want to give a shout out to Clint Cummings. Uh, after Iraq, Afghanistan, Ethiopia, and then another rotation in Afghanistan. And I lost my little brother when he was seven years old. Clint's always been there. He's always helped me through my my pain. And he always made sure that when I got a tattoo that he knew the symbolism behind what I was trying to get to overcome that part of my life. And through all his fame and his success, he's put success in been a few of these. Uh, he's never changed the way he's treated me. He's always been a good friend. He's loyal, he's talented, he's driven. I just want to say thank you, and it's been an honor to know him and get some more work done by Clint Cummings. And, uh, I got a whole body of empty canvas that I hope to be filled, and many years to come of friendship. I just want to say thank you again, and uh, God bless, brother. If you were sad that I left and didn't want to drive out to Dallas to come see me, I'm back now so I can get tattooed or not, whatever. I don't need you. I'm just kidding, I'm not that cocky. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs>